Dear friends, my name is Javad Zarif and I'm the Foreign Minister of Iran. Today, I'm not solely addressing you as my country's representative, but as a fellow human being. At a time when we Iranians normally celebrate Nowruz, our new year concurrent with the arrival of spring, we are faced with multiple and historic challenges. My country is among the hardest hit by the coronavirus, even as, like other nations, we are now learning how to better confront it. Sadly, a huge part of the danger Iranians face is due to restrictions unjustly imposed on them by the United States government. Iran today is the most intensely sanctioned country in history not in line with United Nations decisions, but contrary to them. The economic siege imposed on us impedes all legitimate trade and deprives us from our own resources, the ones necessary to address the needs of our people, including their health and livelihoods. Even amid this pandemic, the US government has vengefully refused to lift its unlawful and collective punishment, making it virtually impossible for us to even buy medicine and medical equipment. The bigger tragedy is that many companies and countries who officially oppose these sanctions have chosen to comply with them, perhaps in hopes of avoiding the future wrath of the United States despite President Trump time and again proving that this is just wishful thinking. Dear friends, allow me to be frank. We are all in this together. To better confront the virus, we need to better work together. But to get the, the war on multilateralism, international cooperation, and the rule of law must come to an end. And those who passively comply with the whims of unilateralist bullies must wake up to the reality that they're also responsible for the destructive ramifications of aggressive unilateralism. I can assure you that we Iranians, relying on millennia of civilizations and unified national resilience, will overcome these challenges and emerge as a stronger and more compassionate community. I wholeheartedly wish the same for all my fellow human beings. But we human beings are capable of adopting a more empathic and eventually a more prudent approach towards one another, one premised on mutual respect and equal footing. It takes will, courage and moral imperative. And if we are to make the world that will emerge from COVID-19 a better one, it is vital that we seize the opportunity to forge a new path. Eight centuries ago, our great poet Saadi wrote, all human beings are members of one frame, since all at first from the same essence came. When time afflicts a limb with pain, the other limbs at rest cannot remain. I wish all who celebrate Nowruz and all of you and your loved ones good health, happiness, and a brighter year ahead. Thank you.